Okay, guys. As you know, I've been having a lot of issues with the dozer, uh, with the some kind of electronical problem. Uh, so I ordered another saber tooth two by thirty two because I thought maybe that's maybe it had a little issue. Uh, so I installed that tonight. Um, I installed a new receiver. And it still was uh, doing what it was doing. And what it was doing, in case you haven't watched the videos previous to this, out in the pit, um, it would, uh, as soon as you would move a control, like the do lift the dozer or, or lower the dozer or lift the ripper or lower the ripper, it would cause the tracks to stay engaged. Uh, so I knew it was some kind of a signal problem. And uh, so tonight, frustrated, I was trying this and that. One of the first things I did was I was thinking maybe the power is being over overpowered. The receiver was being overpowered. So I took the hot wire out of the ESC for the pump because it's already gotten power. The receiver is getting power from, from the uh, battery here. So I took this that and it that didn't fix it. So I kept reading the instructions and all that and sitting down having dinner thinking about this and just really pulling my hair out trying to figure out what's wrong. And uh, one of the other things, the last thing I tried was back here, the two ground wires coming up from the receiver, for the track forward and reverse and track right and left uh, what I did was I unhooked the ground from here and I put a little heat shrink see that blue heat shrink on there so that they couldn't short out or touch anything and spark or whatever and uh, so far that fixed it now I'm doing this video because uh, I've looked on YouTube for a couple months and have not found anything on on installing one of these ES these uh, motor drivers, these saber tooth motor drivers. So I wanted to make this video in case somebody has an issue. And this is what I have found. And I sat here with this wire out, the two the two ground wires from the from the receiver. Uh, took them out and I sit here and test drove this thing on this I got it sitting on a 6x6 block uh, down here running it back and forth moving the controls uh, and, it, and it's absolutely working beautiful there's no issue now so I'm not much of an electronics guy and that's why I usually go to YouTube to find out what I'm doing wrong and uh, this time I kind of figured it out on my own. So anyway, uh, if nobody's ever put one of these in, you got a dozer and you want to put one of these drivers in, these motor drivers, so that you can have uh, the drive on one stick, this is what you'll need. This is a Sabertooth 2x32. And it's really easy. You put one motor goes here. One motor goes on that side. And these are your two battery, your two power from your battery. And then these back here are coming from the receiver. The receiver sends the signal for forward or back or left or right. And for some reason, I don't know why, apparently we don't need the ground. I have the power still hooked in and the signal wire still hooked in. Anyway. That's what I've come up with. I hope this can help somebody because I have really been racking my brain trying to figure out what this thing is doing. And uh, it's, I've put 300 more dollars into this thing trying to figure this out. Uh, so, but anyway, now I've got another one of these. It, it's just going to be sitting because apparently it's okay. It's just the way it was wired up. And uh, I got plenty of receivers. That's no big deal. Those are cheap. But these these motor drivers aren't that cheap. This was 150, 120 bucks, not counting shipping. 
and tax. So, but anyway, guys, I hope this helps you. Um, I sure uh, hope you're all getting out there and enjoying some uh, RCN out here in this better weather. And uh, please like and subscribe and share. Thank you very much. Catch you on the next one.